Hello, spring cooperating teachers. Uh, my name is Matt Ballum. If I haven't met you yet, um, I will be meeting you soon. But first of all, thank you for taking a student teacher from the University of Minnesota. Very much appreciated. Um, it's been great getting into the schools, getting to know you, and um, seeing all the great things that are happening. So I'm going to take you through some things uh, just for your information for the spring. Number one, this is the website that's going to be coming out to you. I will send it to you in an email. I'm just going to quickly explain a little bit about it uh, so you know what's going on. First of all, this is the front page. This is the video I'm recording right now. You will see that uh, when I am completed. I'll have that the spring one up. Okay, the three main things I'm going to need from you during this experience is, number one, a midterm formative evaluation. This is a, a kind of a long, uh, yeah, very long document that isn't designed to be done in one sitting so this is designed to be worked on kind of on a daily or weekly basis for the, about the first four or five weeks so come about the fourth or fifth week uh, you can give that to your go through it give it to your student teacher and they can give it to me so again that's that's a formative thing it's not a graded thing it's meant for you to use as kind of a guideline it doesn't have to be completely filled out there's some things in there that maybe won't pertain to this experience, but it's meant for you to kind of have conversation with your student teacher and, and where they need to work on things. Um, so that will be turned in somewhere around the fifth week or maybe sixth, depending on, uh, it gets a little crazy, but uh, the final summative evaluation, this is a one page deal. This is at the end of it, I will need this. So that can be filled out uh, on the computer and emailed or it can be printed and sent to me. And then the last thing is a letter of recommendation. So give a few to your student teacher and make sure I get one as well. Try to keep the paperwork, paperwork as minimum as possible for you because I know you're busy and uh, I'd rather have you spending the time talking with your student teacher and, and helping them out. Um, as far as their experience, so they've had 18 weeks of student teaching. They've had some good experiences. It's a great group this year. I think you're going to enjoy working with them. So, um, But I do ask that you uh, make sure you have conversations, try to find a, a time on a daily basis to just catch up on how things went, review some of the things, make sure you're planning together. I want to make sure you know what the student teacher is going to be planning on doing and uh, so there's no surprises, things like that. And they also, they like that support and they like that feedback. So, uh, you know, maybe have lunch together, uh, get there a few minutes early, whatever it may be, and just find some time to sit down and say, hey, how are things going? Here are some things I saw whatever it may be. So um, I also encourage my student teachers to try some things. So I'd like them to talk with you first, like, hey, I'm thinking of trying this. What do you think? Have you seen it before? So uh, I, I do believe it's important for our student teachers to uh, kind of try some things out and, and see see if they work. So um, as far as other things, it, it, again, it's a great group. I don't expect any issues with any professionalism. If there are any issues, dress, um, late they should never be late they should always look professional they should always act professional so if there's any issues like that please let me know right away uh, I will be making a visit during the first week so just to make sure things are set up but I will be seeing you in the first week to 10 days of the experience just to catch up short quick five to ten minutes how are things going um, there are gonna be a few days that they're gonna have to miss April 13th is when they're supposed to start but that's a big job fair for uh, education so they're gonna all be going to the job fair on the 13th so obviously this is a crazy time for them, for them and they're looking they're applying and they're trying to get jobs right now so there may be some other times where if they have an interview I'd ask that you, you let them out for that interview obviously that's an important thing so one more date April 22nd is a day that uh, we have a, a, a conference thing that um, they're gonna be at so if there's days that they have to miss because of college stuff, they will let you know well ahead of time. So, and again, if they aren't, that's an issue, please let me know right away. Uh, other things, just the second page of this here, this is a general timeline on kind of, again, general timeline. I'm going to leave it up to you as a professional on um, how quickly you let them jump in. Again, they've had 18 weeks. They've had some good experiences. They should be fairly confident in what they're doing. So I'll leave it up to your judgment on kind of you know when to push them out there and um, but again just make sure you're, you're having conversations you're not just kind of handing the grade book over and say all right go for it so um, and then two other things if you want to look at uh, go ahead and look at those so 
uh, try to make this video short. Uh, again, thank you for taking a student teacher. Uh, all my contact information is on there. Please, please, please let me know if anything comes up. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, call, email. Email is the best way to get a hold of me. But uh, I'll also be seeing you within the first week. And uh, I'll be making some visits throughout. So uh, if you have anything else, let me know. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you soon.